Oh, hi. Rick here. Just looking at some rocks. I think we're going to cut a few open today. And if you want to stick around and watch, I'd appreciate it. So these are the rocks from last week's trip that we took. And we don't know what's inside them. And I would like to cut them open. It might be a little bit of copper in here. I'm not sure. And some of them like this might have Lake Superior agate. So we're thinking that some of this might have copper in it because of the greenish tinge. And we did find a spot like here that might have copper. So we're not exactly sure. And we have some Lake Superior agate possibly. So we're gonna cut some of these open. Not exactly sure. Could be some copper right there. So let's see what's inside these things. So we're going to take these over to the trim saw and we're going to give them a slice. And hopefully there's some nice copper in here. And hopefully there's some nice agate in here. And possibly this one. So this one here, we're hoping, we're thinking that it's this kind of rock. It's just a green rock and it's got just green specks on it. No, no idea what it is. But I thought they were pretty cool looking. So we're thinking that's what this is because of the green spots right here. And right there. So I might give this a tumble. I might throw it in the tumbler. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it in the tumbler. Interesting rock. Hopefully it turns out like this. And there was also a couple of pieces of banded iron. This one's beautiful. With the red jasper. I don't usually find the red through it. This one has a little bit of yellow going through it. Banded iron. And that's more of that green rock that we're thinking. Yep. Just got the spots on it. So that'll also go in the tumbler. These smaller pieces are definitely agate. Just big old nodule. So I don't I might cut them in half or I might just trim a piece off the edge just to see. Not quite sure about that one though. But won't know until we cut them open, so let's do that. And I also have a handful of butterfly wings that I'm gonna cut out while I'm doing this. different kinds of rocks so now I have to add some water in here and we'll get going So I have not looked at these yet. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Some egg qualities, I think.
Very nice. This one I just took a little slice off. Let's look at the slice first. A little bit of chalcedony, I think, and some banding. And then this nodule. Oh yeah, there's some banding at the end here. That's the little piece that I cut off. And then... Wow, that's cool. Like superior agate, you can't beat it. Mostly quartz in the middle though, but there is some agate banding around the edge. I like it. This one here took another, just trim the edge. And it's mostly quartz, a little bit of banding around the outside, but nothing to write home about. What that pink stuff is back there. Oh, this could be agate back there. Blue, too. That's interesting. Might have to cut it again. This one here I also trimmed. Oh, that's the other path. <laughs> that's the other half of the first one that I showed you. Which is that one. Kind of a mixture of quartz and all kinds of fun stuff. And then this one here that I thought might have some copper in it. Kind of like a bluish metallic in there. I don't know what that would be. Huh. There's the other piece. Wow. It's definitely a metal. Interesting. And let's do this big piece here where I thought there might be some copper in there. What's that over here? No. Some other kind of mineral. No copper. Cool piece though. And finally, the one I hope there's agate in here. Ready? Oh. Well, no agate, but it's certainly interesting. A lot of quartz, it tried to be an agate. It's almost an agate. And then there's some of that weird material down here. I have no idea what that is. You can see it on both pieces. So... That was interesting. No agate though. Close, but no cigar. Well, let's have a look at some of these butterfly wings that I cut. 
Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. This is that Brazilian agate. Oh, and I marked it out with just a pencil crayon. Kind of like that there. On the darker rocks, try that. Because it's hard to do the black magic marker. Or black sharpie. I think this one's going to be my favorite. The uh, source agate. That's going to be a really cool looking butterfly or moth or whatever you want to call it. Then I have a labradorite one. This Montana agate one is going to look really cool too because it has some dendrite right in the middle here. The rest is Sharpie, but except for those spots up at the top, it has some really cool banding through it. So once this is all polished, oh, that's going to look really, really nice. Really nice. Speaking of nice, here's a piece of nice. It's nice. It's going to be a nice butterfly. Also have some pudding stone ones. Made a few of those. And some what we call Algoma Jade, but it is like a green quartzite. Polishes up really nice, pretty. So I'm really curious about this metal in this rock. Not exactly sure what that would be. Maybe iron? Nickel, silver. Hard to say. Interesting though. I wonder if it would look better under the microscope. Let's try that. I have a cheap little digital microscope from Amazon. And let's see what we can see under here. So, no treasures today, but we did cut open some nice rocks. It's always fun to see what's inside some of these things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you again next week. We have lots of new things to do, lots of cool things to make, cutting rocks. Pretty soon we're going to be able to go do some rock hounding. We did that for the first time a little while ago when we had no snow, but we just had a little bit of snow near the end of March, where we're getting near the end of March. And uh, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. So thanks again for watching everyone. No, you're not watching everyone, you're watching me. <laughs> Hope to see you all again next week. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.